Mr. Moroni said the trio was bombarded with messages from friends and media after the story appeared in the Chronicle and on its website today. I woke up yesterday morning with 37 missed calls, he said. I've been on CFM radio and interviewed by Channel 9 and Channel 7. All my mates just laugh about it. I'm going out with a bang. The trio was due to go to hospital yesterday afternoon. Yeah. So, basically, the news story was they branded their own asses, rang up, and made big asses of themselves. Ha! Huh. Okay. Honestly, I, I, I've heard of people not really having good hobbies. <laughs> yeah. But, honestly, I can... I've been rather bored before, but I can honestly say that I have never been bored enough to look at my closest friend and say, let's go brand ourselves. Yeah. I don't know. Why this ended up a news story is beyond me, but, you know, thanks, Mum. <laughs> well, you know... There is a possible explanation. Which you think may be what? It might be pot. Maybe. It just depends on which area of Gimpy they were drinking in. Well, you know, depending on... uh, They might have actually made a quick trip over to the United States. Maybe. I mean, you know, people with that amount of money and that much sense, yeah. Hey. Well, you know, if you're going to go over there, you know, you could have gone to, like, Mexico. Yes. Or you could find the U.S. and Mexican border and just hang there for a little while and wait until they discover an underground tunnel that contains 30 tons of marijuana. Woohoo! That actually happened. Okay, how about you read that story? Yes. 30 tons of pot seized at U.S.-Mexican border. U.S. and Mexican authorities combined to seize nearly 30 tons, which is like 66,000 pounds of marijuana at the California border, uncovering an elaborate 600-yard underground tunnel connecting warehouses on either side of the border, officials said Wednesday. The marijuana is worth more than, are you holding, are you sitting down? Yes. Twenty million dollars if sold on the streets of San Diego. But how much would it cost in New York? I don't know. <laughs> Probably like forty million though. <laughs> Probably. If you, if you tried to send it to England it'd be like a hundred million. <laughs> <laughs> Probably with inflation and the euro it's just <sighs> And the taxes, let's tax this, let's tax that, let's tax this. All right, we're good. Yep, they could afford that. We love you, England. You give us Doctor Who, but, you know, your dollar sucks at the moment, apparently. Uh Stop insulting the British. They'll tax us. (laughs) We love you, England. Sorry. Mm. Okay, so basically they found an underground tunnel, probably the same one that they used in Fast and Furious. Because, you know, everything you see on the movies is perfectly true. Yes. <laughs> you know, Vin oh, Diesel. Oh, was that sarcastic? Oh. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Darn. <sighs> but no, um, they... Uh, like I'm, I'm reading through, and then they found they're talking about statistics. The largest um, marijuana seizure ever in the history of seizures is 134 tons. Holy dooly! How do you move that? That's actually what John and I were talking about earlier. How do you move that? How do you keep that much secret? I, <laughs> What is the possible reasoning behind needing 134 tons? We're not talking 134 pounds. We're talking tons. That's a lot of condoms. And, you know, the weird part is there's um, (laughs) links on the side, and one of them is for signs of rectal cancer. What does that have to do with anything? Well, you know, sometimes they might put the pot in a condom and swallow it. And, yeah, 
Then they need to retrieve it. That actually it. happens a lot. Yeah. Then I, I wonder if ribbed makes it any different. Anyway, um, speaking of, um, no, there's no segue. <laughs> I was really, really going to see how you were going to do that one, but go ahead. Speaking of idiots, um, yeah, doctors accidentally glue Northern Ireland boys shut. Uh, Northern Ireland boys' eyes shut. Blech. Yeah, we'll just yep get that one right eventually. Okay, a three-year-old boy had his eyes accidentally glued shut by a doctor at a hospital in Northern Ireland. Sam Caldwell was taken to Ulster Hospital near Belfast after he sustained a cut above his right eye, the Belfast Telegraph reported on the weekend. Doctors told his mother Kerry the best way to close the wound was to use medical glue. After about 20 minutes, the doctor told Sam to open his eyes, but he couldn't. His right eye was completely glued shut. She'd put too much on his lid, and it had slid down around his eye. Ow. Yeah. Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, in most cases, lukewarm water will loosen the eyelashes, but otherwise this will occur naturally within three days. So, yeah, it's not a terrible thing. His eye will open again, but, you know, in the meantime, it's like, ah. I bet there aren't, like, a... Uh. I've used... Ugh. I've had that medical glue used to, like, glue together a cut because I was, like, being a big chicken and going, no, you're not stitching me up, it's horrible. No! And, you know, it didn't really close the cut very well. Well, depending on how big the cut is, where it is, on top of that, if you have it in a spot that bends a lot, then no. If you have it's a if it's a big wound, then no. Well, I got a good scar out of it. Well, that's because never mind. Anyway, (laughs) okay. But ow, ow. Having your eye glued shut, yeah, that's gotta suck. I mean, I know a lot of people that have accidentally done it because they've gotten super glue and their eye drops confused. Maybe they needed to put their glasses on before they picked up the bottle. Just saying. Maybe. Just saying. (sighs) But at least medical grade stuff sort of decomposes and, and like, separates in, like, three days. So it's not that terrible. I I think it was Robin's mom. I'm not sure. She got rubbing alcohol and eye drops confused and it was because Robin had kept rubbing alcohol in a um, an eye drop container and uh, she couldn't figure out why her eye was burning <laughs> I'm just gonna shut my mouth <laughs> they are from South Carolina my dear there is no joke that you can't that you can make that hasn't been done before no I'm just gonna save my ass and just shut my mouth Oh, probably a good idea. Although you should probably shut your ass too, just saying. <laughs> I don't need any crap from you, Belinda. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of crap. <laughs> Next. That was your segue. But there's nothing about crap. <laughs> well, yeah, there is. I like Cradle of Filth, thank you. <laughs> no. Oh, but... crap, filth. <laughs> ah, okay, got it. <laughs> we having a good day today. I thought you were insulting the band, so I didn't... Shut up! I was. <laughs> they're not proud. Yes, they are. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> we'll continue this later. <laughs> Yes. Say the first word of this story. Suffolk. Suffolk. Yes. Oh, God. That sounds <laughs> awful coming out of my mouth. <laughs> so I'm just going to let you read that. Just read the first word, and then every time that word pops up, you can read it. Okay. Suffolk. Taurus board embarrassed <laughs> after metal band Cradle of Filth voted country's greatest icon from November 16th. 
The organization cho- choose Suffolk. 